Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make your face look like it's cracked in Photoshop. So first you're going to want a picture of someone's face cut out and this is my face cut out and I'm going to crack it. Alright, so I have this and first, since it's kind of a scary scene I guess you could say, you're going to want to make it black and white, make the background black and white, not the background, the the face. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to go to image adjustments, hue and saturation. And I'm going to change this right here. No, not this. I'm going to go to saturation and go all the way down so it's black and white. And you can also adjust the lightness to make it a little darker. It just looks a little scarier if you make it a little darker. So there's a little darker. I'm going to press OK. And then you're going to create a new layer, and it's going to be the cracks, so I'm going to name it Cracks. And there it is. And then I'm going to drag, you need to find a picture of cracks, like on the internet, or you can make one if you want to. But I have one, and I'm going to put it on here. And you're going to go up here to where it says Normal. You're going to go down to Overlay. And as you see, it changes it a little bit. And you're also going to want to change this and make it a little smaller. So I'm going to go down here in the corner right there, press shift so it's straight, and drag it down to a smaller size, and then kind of put it in the middle of the face so you can see there. All right, and then once you're done with that, press enter, and it's there. All right, now you're going to want to go to edit, transform, warp. And you're going to see this, how it is right here. And you can, you'll be able to warp it a little bit. So I'll do that. I'm just going to make it so it's around my face. So I'm going to drag this over here and this over here. Just make it fit the face, kind of angle it so it's with the face and everything. Alright, so that looks okay. It's not great, but it'll work. And when you're done with that, you want to press enter. And you see how now the cracks aren't just on the face, so I'm just going to erase this real fast. And when you do it, you kind of want to use like a soft eraser so it's not too, I don't know, so it kind of looks like it blends in. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm just going to erase around the face. And notice if you're in that new layer, it won't erase the background because it's on that layer. So that's pretty good. That's why I did that new layer. Just erase all the way around it. And I'm going to stop over at my, my chin. So just my face is cracked. All right. And there's that. All right, now... That's how you make it look like it's cracked. Now, if you want to make it kind of gory in a way, I kind of did that. And you want it red. All right, notice how I have this as red right there. I'm going to go to the pen tool, which is right there. Oh, first, you're going to create a new layer. Forgot about that. Layer, and we're going to say blood, because it'll kind of look like blood once we're done. All right, and we're going to go right along one of the cracks like this. To make a path. I'll just go all the way across to there. And then you're going to right click and go to stroke path, brush, since it's the brush. You say OK. And you see that, how it looks kind of stupid. So you need to change the opacity or opacity, whatever the word is, to a little smaller so it looks a little more real. And then right click once you're done and press delete path. And it'll be there, and you'll see it kind of looks like blood. You can change those as much as you want. And with mine, I made it all, I just did all of them, so they were all red. And it's also good if you put a cool background behind it, like some clouds or something. And yeah, so that's how you make your face look like it's cracked. It's pretty fun. Um, so I hope you learned something.